And when you have idiots like Sean Penn and uh, that uh, director, whatever the heck his name is, I, I forget his name, Oliver Stone, lauding a, a naked dictator like Chavez and saying he's not a dictator, we're in real trouble because the average person listens to them. Yeah, well, Sean Penn is, is practically Stephen Hawking. I mean, he's so brilliant. By the way, uh, Michael Savage, Tom Donahue of the Chamber of Commerce went through the financial regulatory reform bill. Speaking of power grabs and and ways to control more of our uh, freedoms and diminish uh, our liberty in our lives, he found out that in this bill, check this out, it calls for more than 350 regulatory rulemakings, which is where all the mischief is done, 47 studies, 74 reports and counting. This tsunami of new rules and studies will cause tremendous uncertainty, making it harder for businesses to raise capital, make investments, and create jobs. To put this effort into context, the Sarbanes-Oxley Act required 16 rulemakings and only six studies, which took more than two years to complete. So businesses now uh, being collared with yet another uh, hulking piece of legislation that makes it more difficult to turn a profit and create prosperity for all. That's where we are now in the Obama world. Well, that's what socialists do. They believe in red tape or bureaucracy. It was called red tape 50 years ago. Then it was called bureaucracy, and now it's called uh, wisdom. I mean, you know, things change, but they don't really change. We understand that Obama is an inexperienced Marxist professor, and he wasn't even a highly placed professor. We know he got there through affirmative action. We know he got there through having the, the, the skids greased for him. He doesn't really understand the ramifications of his rhetoric. Everybody knows that. Anybody with, a, with more than 100 IQ understands this by now. The problem is, how do we effectively stop this? Well, you write your books. You do your show. I write my books. I do my show. What else can we do? But some of us get in trouble, Laura. You know that. I'm banned in Britain, which is why you have me on the show. People understand that uh, this is bad, but what are they going to do about it? A whole nation bans an American talk show host? You'd think the entire American media, left, right, and center, would say, wait a minute, foul ball. You can't do that to him. We may disagree with him, but you have no right to ban his speech. Save well, has the ACLU ever people. said anything? Michael, well, I'm sorry to interrupt, but has the ACLU ever come out and said anything on your behalf? Initially, they did. They said it was wrong, but then they never mm -hmm. followed it up. In other words, if I had been a mass murderer or a child rapist, I'm sure the ACLU would have put considerable resources behind defending me. But since I oppose them politically and think that they should all be incarcerated and their assets seized, I doubt that they will help me. We're talking to Michael Savage of the Savage Nation, the new government in Britain, continuing its ban of his travel there. Did you, did you travel frequently to Britain, Michael? Was that a place Only when you'd I like wanted to go? their superior dental work and their cuisine, Laura. Other than that, I wouldn't go there. I went there for the, <laughs> for the food tours and their medical care. They, why, they do have just gnarly teeth sometimes. What, yeah, is, what that? is it about is... the teeth, the British teeth? They frighten me. You know, the Kennedys, although they were of Irish descent, had those, those very large teeth. I don't get that. The big choppers, yeah. They're, it was they're, something. Uh, I, don't, they're I, don't, I really wish I knew the secret to their, to, their, to their large teeth. Where does all that calcium come from? Hey, Michael, what do you do for fun? Me? Yeah. <laughs> That's my secret. I'm not telling you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, no, I'm well, a boat. I, just... I, love, I love boating. I love boating. I go out on San Francisco Bay every weekend in my boat. And mm -hmm. I like to go out with nobody except my dog, Teddy, my 10-pound poodle, because that way I don't have to talk, which I do for a living. And I get to hear the water slapping against the hull. I look at the birds. I look at the fog. Uh, the, <laughs> the seals, I see the same, the same breeding grounds every year in the bay. I know where they are, and I see the baby seals coming up. It's amazing to watch parent seals training the baby seals, they, uh, they afford them more care than most of the people in America do their children. It's amazing to me to watch animals. Oh, I, see, I, that's why you and I are friends. I, I, love, I also love observing wildlife. Too bad all the seals in the uh, Gulf, or the marine wildlife in the Gulf, I should say, are, are struggling now because of this uh, yeah, no, 90 it's days almost to see that. Really, it's, it rips your, rips your heart out. Uh, yeah, but, but, you know, stuff. the thing is... What, Look, they've capped it. They put Janet Reno's uh, likeness of her in, the, in, in, et cetera. So, what are you going to do, Laura? I mean, well, we hope for the best. We hope for the best for our freedoms. We fight for our freedoms. And, and Michael, you do your job on the airwaves every day to inform and entertain people. And I've got to say, there are some some nights when I'm driving home when I turn on your show and I 
I'm I am literally in tears. I mean, tears are streaming down my. I, I just I you're incredibly. You that you're, no, you're incredibly funny, and there are not many people who can make me laugh. A lot of people will get out there and do the conservative talking points, and that's fine. There's a definite need for that. But to make someone belly laugh, that is a hard thing to do on a nightly basis. And, Michael, uh, come back anytime. We love having you on. Continued success. Good and luck uh, with your uh, book. <laughs> well, Savage Nation put me to number one. That and, o- and then in O'Reilly, both to number one on Amazon. Michael Savage on The Laura Ingram Show. The Laura Ingram Show. 